How has this happened? How is it day eight of our ski season diary? It's insane. Got up pretty early, had some coffee. Left bang on seven because that's how I roll. It's change over day. Our guests are leaving. We're getting new guests. And we've got a lot of work to do. As soon as we got to work, Calvin went straight down to the hot tub and got ready to drain it, ready for the new guests. He has to drain it and then refill it. And then it has to heat up. So they can't use it until the first day. Welcome to the glamorous world of hot tub maintenance. Laid out a lovely breakfast for the guests on their last day and set about making a checklist for changeover jobs on my phone. I will be using this on future changeovers, but actually I completely forgot to use it today, so whatever. Said goodbye to the guests and cracked on with the changeover. With a little help from wet leg, first thing to do was decalcify the coffee machine. You'll have to imagine the noises it made, but it was something like bip boop, bip boop, bip 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 boop. Hey, there's Calvin washing some mushrooms and looking really happy about it. I had an emergency cup of tea. And this was an emergency too. I just want to give a little shout out to the grandparents who stayed with us last week. They stripped their beds and put all their towels in the shower and or bath. Popped out some new towels for the hot tub. Love that view. The Geneva app updated me on both their flights. Four and a half hours till official check-in time. Oh, a new Spotify playlist. Checked in with Calvin again, making stuff in a pan. Ugh, you again. Yes, Dergate, I'm talking to you. After struggling with my nemesis, I text Calvin. He actually came straight away and of course he just took it off straight away. This cot was actually really easy to put up surprisingly but um, because I'm ridiculous it was very hard to take down until I realised to take the mattress out. Did some bathroom cleaning and here I am demonstrating why I keep spare uniform in the chalet. The plane has left the airport. Check the bed configuration before tackling the beds. Let's check in with Calvin again. Here he is doing the chicken ballotines with the cling film. Oh look, it's got a lovely slidey action. Uh, this is moments before it all went wrong, but Calvin saved the day and the ballotine was saved. Here I am cleaning the double shower in the master bedroom. Quick time check. Oh gosh, we're getting close to four o'clock. Big shout out to the laundry for putting the duvet covers inside out. So I don't have to put them inside out myself when I'm making the bed. Here I am making an absolute meal of it anyway. When I make the bed, I put all the pillows in the cover so they don't go on the floor and get dirty. We were finally done by 4.25 and I made a quick TikTok video to celebrate. During kids dinner, I ran off and had some kids dinner. I was absolutely starving by that point. The guests had Prosecco and canapes while watching Argentina celebrate the World Cup win. Dinner went great, the guests are lovely and it's gonna be a good week. It's 10.30 now, I'm in my gym jams. I'm just gonna edit this video and publish it and then I'm off to sleep because I'm back up at six tomorrow morning. Night night.